Peter McGoran, if the budget was part of this exercise of trying to till the soil in political terms to bring the people with them, they've, they've achieved that because it is certainly overwhelmed all else right now in our debate. It has, Kieran, but I think the budget's uh, political benefit is fading fast. Mind you, budgets in the modern era do. They don't last all that long because there's so many other sources of analysis and communication and commentary. But nonetheless, and I've said this, Kieran, if you'll allow me to self-indulge, for several weeks now, where is the government's narrative? I still found last week's budget to be all over the shop. There are announcements beforehand about some of the goodies, some of the baddies, traditional style, but it was too confusing and I'm not sure that they establish a narrative coming out of the budget. And I, I'm yet to see signs that they'll have a narrative in regard to cost of living pressures and the gas and energy price explosion. I, I don't think the government has yet, done, has yet crafted uh, a reason. Uh, they're still sitting on the fence. They still look like they're a cork floating in the ocean. It's not beyond them to set out a, a, an immediate response, limited, it will be very limited, to ease the cost of living pressures and energy prices, medium-term strategy and a longer-term strategy. At the moment, yeah. I, I think it's just a lot of babbling and the public are beginning to either tune out or become confused. Darren, how urgent is that political challenge to to get that narrative right as much as the, the, uh, the policy of, of bringing the, the prices down. The narrative is an important part of it politically. Narrative is a very important part of it, Kieran. I think, look, at least they didn't come out cranking akadaka tunes and saying we'd be back in black. So I thought it was a, an honest budget and it's an incremental shift in you know, the types of programs, the spending is responsible over a long period, uh, it was the sort of budget that was a reset and basically changing yeah. some of the things that were being done under the previous administration uh, and putting in place what Labor's agenda will be. So, in a lot of ways, the big first budget next May is as important, if not more important. But sure. the narrative, I agree, it's taking some time to develop, but they didn't upset or sort of, you know, cause widespread fear. It certainly wasn't a Liz Trust budget, for example. So it was no. responsible and it was measured and there's still a couple of years until the next election. Darren, Peter, great to see you both. Thank you.